our faith was rocked big time. I was mad for a long time. Um, I wouldn't. I refused to pray pray to Jesus. Really? I was mad at him because, and God, I said, you don't deserve me right now. This is how I felt. Uh-huh. Um, how can you, you know, how all the feelings that you can imagine feeling when you lose a child that you had no idea, like we had no warning. There was, there was nothing that we could have prepared us for that. Um, we trust me, we've done all the research and looked back and said, how do we, you know, what, what could we have done differently? And, and it's still after, you know, almost seven years, I still get in these moments. So Yeah, because you expect your parents to go before you. You expect your grandparents to go before you. You exactly. don't expect your child to go before you. Exactly. It's not a natural transition of life. And so um yeah, it it was hard. I remember we we got into therapy right away. Um because we were we were we had worked so hard to have our faith first and what a thing to rock you. And it scared us both. Um, that we were going to, um, we just scared, the future scared us and how we were going to um, handle life after the death of our son. Because it's not, it's it's life before and life after. We were not the same people that we were. Uh-huh. Um, and it's sometimes hard for people to be around us because they think, well, you're not, that, well, you used to do this. You're right, I did. I don't do that anymore. Uh-huh. And it's, it was it's not things that you know, but it's I'm not the same person. I don't, I don't. Um, so we we started we started in we started in therapy right away, and that there and I remember our therapist saying, "Well, you guys may be a little bit early. You may need to kind of feel your feelings." And I said, "No, I don't want to go far off. I want uh-huh. We went to a Catholic therapist, and I said because I just I didn't know I didn't know, and it was a very profound moment. And I thought about this a lot. And the therapist asked. Um, how do you feel about your faith? How's your faith right now after, you know, I don't even know how long we had been there. And I just sat quiet and my, and my husband drew, he, he, he said very honestly, and he said, it's really rocky. I'm struggling with it right now. Uh-huh. And I loved him so much for being so honest. Right. And he's like, I'm really mad. And I'm like, ditto. Right there with you. I'm yeah. right there with you. Uh-huh. Like I feel and so he he spoke a little bit more and and I and it's hard it's hard to talk about it. It's hard to say I'm mad at Jesus. I'm mad at God. I'm uh-huh. so mad right now. I can't even think about you. I can't even look at you cuz we're not allowed we're not taught that we can do that, right? Because but reality is this it's a two-way relationship. And he knows how you're feeling. He knew how I was feeling. Yeah. I was just trying to contain it. And so I, um, when I got to answer that question and I was like, and I remember just basically saying is, you know, my job now is to fight to get to heaven. Yes, I'm mad and I'm upset, but I still, I'm not going to lose my faith because I want to be with my son for eternity. So I made that conscious decision that, um, I mean, you couldn't get more knocked on your feet, off your feet than at that, in those moments. And so I made a conscious decision that I'm going to fight to get to heaven because that's what it feels like sometimes, right? Like we're on this constant fight to stay on track. But every day I'm like, nope, I know where I want to be and I know where I'm going. And I may not always be perfect to get there, but I'm going to get there. And so it took me um, a really long, long time to, I want to say, you know, there are things that made me feel better along the way where I would write. I journaled a lot. Uh-huh. Um, I haven't gone back and read those, read those journal entries. I would write to Tucker, my son, uh-huh. um, quite a bit. Um, some of it's apologizing to him, you know, because I'm like, I'm sorry I couldn't protect you. Oh. Um, all of the things that as a mom um, that you feel like that you're, you're supposed to do. Um, so... That is something that, you know, I haven't gone back to read those journal entries. I'm sure they were really dark. Um, but it took me about a year before I would even acknowledge God and Jesus. I really did. Really? It, it oh. didn't, it's not that I, that I stopped um, having quiet time. It's not that I stopped reading the Bible. I mean, it, 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 we went to church when we could, uh-huh. um, but church was really hard um, because I'm supposed to have two, two I'm supposed to, I'm a twin mom. And yeah, I'm I'm losing. Yeah. I don't have you know one of my 
my sons with me. But I always went back to Mother Teresa because she was away from her relationship with God for a long period of time. And that always said, I always it made myself feel, I try to make myself feel better, say, Mother Teresa did it. Don't do it for that long, but give yourself some grace and some time because when you come back, it's going to be even, you're, you're going to, when you're ready, he's going to be there. 